What it do, what it did, what it's good. YouTube, it is me, all things Ray Jean, back again with another video. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. We got a different setup here today. I am in my car having some breakfast. I guess since I'm gonna be eating, we are gonna uh, make this a little mukbang video. And with today's video, we are going to be talking about post-graduation. Post-grad life, post-graduation blues, all that good stuff. Show y'all my breakfast real quick. Go got some eggs, turkey sausage, hash browns, and some pancakes. This is what I had a taste for today. So yeah, like I just stated, today's video, we're gonna be discussing um, post-grad, what it's like after, once you graduate college and all that stuff. And we're gonna get into it. And talk about my experience and, you know, hopes for the future and all that stuff okay also if you haven't already you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button stick around for more content from your girl you know hit that like button if you like this video and yeah so let's get right into it okay so as of May 5th 2019 I will um, officially have been graduated from one year and so far since i graduated my life has pretty much been the same i would say that I've, I've grown a lot i've learned a lot i've matured in so many ways also a little backstory i have a degree in exercise science and when i first got to school my original plan was to go do my four years move somewhere go to pt school you know and just live my best life that was my dream but you know as you get older and stuff you learn that life doesn't always work that way it took me six years to graduate and um i'm currently still doing the same job i was doing while i was in school i'm not saying anything is wrong with that you know a job is a job you have to do what you have to do um there was a time though like a month after I graduated I got offered this position to be like a um I guess a recruit and it was gonna it was gonna pay well well to me it was gonna pay well it was something outside my comfort zone you know it would it's gonna be a good experience and I went through the whole interview process you know the lady she was talking like I had the job like they did the background check all this stuff she's asking me like what size shirt I wear like I literally thought I had this job so like a week or so after like I had done all like my background check and like all that stuff <clears throat> like I didn't hear from them so I got in contact with them was like hey you know what what how are we gonna move forward because she like gave me like an anticipated start date and like all this stuff like i really thought i had a job like i was in a good like i was like okay a month after graduation i know you know landed me a job already cool 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 also i don't think i mentioned this but i don't want to work in my field i mean i had aspirations of being a physical therapist but after I learned more and more about the job and saw all that, you know, what was required and what in detail, I was like, you know what? This life is not for me. I do not want to do this. And I feel like I started feeling that way. Maybe. Maybe like a year and a half before I graduated. But it was like, do I quit and start over? Or do I just stick it out? But the thing was, I didn't know what I wanted what I wanted to do. Like I knew I didn't want to be a physical therapist no more, but I didn't know what else I wanted to do. So yeah. Thought I had a job lined up after graduating. That didn't work out. And that kind of like deafened my spirit a little bit. You know, because I was like, dang, like I'm still working this job. You know, that I'm that I'm at now. You know, I'm 
and I really thought like something was it was, it was gonna happen for me but it didn't so I got it in my hands like you know what I'm just gonna stay here and work and I just you know figure it out so then five months five months after graduation I decided that I wanted to relocate and it was because like there was no point of me being in my college town anymore I mean I didn't have any family here all of my friends had left and gone I was like basically there by myself and I just wasn't feeling it no more like I was just like what's the point of me being here I'm not in school I'm working at this job and it's like you know What's the point of me being here? <laughs> so I started looking to re relocate closer to home, you know. Had an interview lined up in a city that was like not too far from like my hometown and stuff. So like it was cool. Like okay, I can be close to my family, all this stuff. This would be nice. That job didn't fall through. That yeah, that job basically didn't fall through. They weren't really trying to pay like that and I was like you know what I, I, um, I won't be able to support myself if I take this job so it was like back to the drawing board again like okay what am I gonna do luckily around this time I kind of decided what it was that I wanted to do I at least have an idea of what it is I want to do now so that is something good I just don't know So with that being said, once you graduate college, it's an amazing feeling. It's like a huge accomplishment, especially if you had a rough time like I did. And also I feel like being from a small town, everybody pretty much knows everybody and stuff like that. It feels like a lot of pressure. I wouldn't say that people necessarily like put pressure on you but there's like a certain pressure that comes with like going away like moving away from your hometown and doing something different because where I'm from like I said super small there's a lot of people there who have the potential to do great and be great but it's just it just doesn't register like that there's not enough resources there's not really lots of opportunity so a lot of people just get stuck i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that me personally i just don't want that for my life but there are people who just they just work nine to fives for like 30 years retire and like that's their life and like i said like that's cool if that's what you want to do but for me personally that's not something that i wanted to do and I feel like when people do go outside of like that little box of the nine to five working 30 years, you know, you're looked at as like, kind of like a hometown hero. Like that's what it feels like. It feels like you're the hometown hero because you did something different. You're trying to do better. You're trying to make something better of yourself. And it's like pressure, you know, like if you don't exceed. Well, that's what it feels like. I feel like I, I put those expectations on myself, even some of my friends like that I went to high school with like me and my homegirl we was talking about this of how it's like you know people are watching you like back home they're watching you looking to see what you're doing you know and you might got people looking at you hoping that you fail and all that stuff but you know it's like you got people rooting for you but all in all I say this once you graduate college it's a huge accomplishment you might not get that job right away you might go on a hundred interviews put in a thousand applications and still won't get a job but it's important that you just focus on the bigger picture focus on why you started like you have to try your hardest to keep the faith because it gets very discouraging at times because it just you just feel so stagnant it's like i want to do do greater be greater you know do more but sometimes you can't 
sometimes you can't you just you know opportunities don't come so you just gotta wait and be patient and just trust that everything will work itself out and also don't feel like going to college was in vain because I felt like that I felt like I done wasted this time money racked up some debt not a lot but I still got some I racked up this debt and it was all for nothing but you have to look at the bigger picture you know and just trust and keep faith that everything will work out so yeah to all y'all who have graduated or will be graduating soon best of luck to you I wish you all well you know and just stay the course keep going even when you don't feel like it because soon eventually your breakthrough your breakthrough will come okay y'all i'm about to get on these pancakes so that's gonna conclude the video i hope you all enjoyed it this little talking video or whatever be sure to like comment subscribe do, do what you want also you can follow me on twitter follow me on you can follow me on twitter you can follow me on instagram and you can follow me on like my facebook page and all of that will be linked down below so until next time stay positive stay peaceful stay prayed up <laughs>